Hey there, everybody, and welcome to episode two of Peep Show Studio. You guys really seem to like this format, so I thought we would just continue with it. It's kind of fun for me because it kind of gives me an opportunity to kind of recap what I did this week. Uh, you guys know that I have been making a ton of smash books, and I am enjoying that process so much. It really does take me back to the days when we were doing flow journals, which were just so much fun because it, it really gave me an opportunity to... Um, to pass along some of the love that folks had given to me over several years. And literally, the flow journals were uh, just chocked full of, you know, fun things to play with. And really, I was totally uh, passing along some love that I had been given. Um, I went a little step further this week and did some of these ring-bound smash books. And we're also going to talk about this book, uh, Outer Order, Inner Calm by Gretchen Rubin. You guys are getting the first peek at peep <laughs> at these new smash books. They are kind of a vacation style smash book. So, you know, I can, I can see these laying on an end table or a coffee table or uh, com any communal space, you know, family vacation, maybe a couple's vacation. And just having the smash book lie open and people can write, draw, uh, paste in, glue in, whatever they want. Like I said, this is your first peep at this new product that I'll be putting in the shop hopefully a little bit later on tonight um they are they're 30 pages and they've got all kinds of writing space and documenting space and just places for you to have fun you know it's kind of like a guest book right uh, a place for people to uh, write about their day, how they like the place they're staying. These would be great if you have like a, an Airbnb or a bread and bed. Be, okay, hold on. Bed and breakfast. <laughs> I kept wanting to smash all that together and it wasn't working. Uh, if you have a bed and breakfast, if you have an Airbnb, this will be an excellent like little guest book for folks to fill out and let other folks know how they liked their stay at your place. This one says good times and it's got one of those, um, what's that called? A oh, woody. I love that little thing. Uh, this one says summer, sand, and sunshine and it's got a hint of glimmer around here. This one says, we go together like summer and flip-flops. I love that. Again, you got a little bit of the sparkly right here. There are a few stars and little sequins right here. This is all, the stars and sequins are part of the paper. It's not an add-on. And then the last but not least says, hello, summer. The papers are pretty much the same in all of these, so I'm not going to flip through them all. Um, these will go in the shop a little later on tonight. I will be making these until my supplies run out. I was totally blessed with these book boards, and um, I'm almost out of them. So I don't know how many more of these I'm going to be making. As you guys know, I make and then when I'm at the end of those supplies, <laughs> then we are a recycle, uh, recycle um, Etsy shop. We recycle everything. So um, when something runs out, then that's, that's the end of that. I finished Outer Order Inner Calm by Gretchen Rubin, and we'll talk a little bit about that. But while I'm talking about this fantastic book, I really did enjoy it. And you know, guys, it's something that you can read. Um, gosh, I think it just took me, um, I maybe read it in an hour and a half. It, it's just, it's very, it's a very, very quick read because, you know, it's kind of some pages look like this. Um, 
like a, that's it's a very long page, but it's 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 written in snippets, and I really really like that concept. So we are going to sit here, and I'm going to make some chippies. I was able to um, to find a nice big piece of of board. Uh, for my desk again, this was something that is recycled. I gleaned this from a place called Artworks here in Richmond. When artists move out of their studios, they always have a big pile of free stuff. And there was a photographer moving out, and I just have all this really beautiful giant paper, <laughs> which is really nice. I can't believe I didn't. Think of this um, before, so now you can kind of look at a nice white space instead of my uh, fabric on my desk. So here we are. I've been working a lot this week, like I said, making smash books. And when I make smash books, I have this little envelope that sits uh, to the side of my desk. Miss Gail sent me uh, some treasures in this. So the, the envelope has like a sweet feeling to it. She's such a dear soul. And so I just use it as my chippies envelope. So we're just going to get busy and make some chippies and talk about outer order inner calm. Um... I, like I said, I really did love the book. Let me tell you just a few things that I thought were, <laughs> were awesome suggestions. It's how I knew I was really going to love this book. Um, one of her first suggestions, the book is by Gretchen Rubin. One of Gretchen's first suggestions is to, in order to clear your clutter, is to abandon a project. And I was like, yes, yes. I totally get that. I have been holding on to, and you know, you guys are going to, you're going to go, yeah, that's me too. I've been holding on to um, a piece of embroidery that I started, mm, hold on a second, mm, 13 years ago. 13 years ago. I've got one tiny little corner that I need to finish. And, you know, it's just not going to happen. I don't even have the uh, floss, the embroidery floss, um, to finish the project. I don't have that. Uh, I don't know what color it is. It's a beautiful butterfly. Now, I do have the butterfly finished, so I'm going to repurpose that. I'm not going to abandon that part of it. I'm going to repurpose that into another project. Um, but that's it. Man, I, I got to get that thing off my plate. 13 years. That's just too long for something to kind of just be sitting and not doing anything productive. So, I knew that I was going to like Miss Gretchen when that was one of her suggestions. Just abandon that project. Just stop thinking about it. Stop trying to do anything with it. Just let it go. I was like, yeah, that's exactly what I need. I need to let that sucker go. And I will. I'll repurpose it into something else, but I need to repurpose it right away because it, it makes me crazy. So do you, you know, you have that, right? You have that knitting, that knitting project, that sewing project, that, um, all those sweaters that are piled in a corner that you were going to take apart and make into a blanket. You know what I'm talking about. So, I love that suggestion. Another suggestion in Outer Order Inner Calm that I really did like. This chippy turned out really fun. It says, I wouldn't have it any other way. If you don't know what a chippy is, it's just chippy bits all glued together. Have some fun with it. You know what else I did, guys? I drug out a few small... Um, stamps 
and I thought, you know, chippies would be an awesome way to just use those tiny, you know, tiny little stamps that you have. So I'm going to stamp a bird right there. Whoa, that turned out pretty. So there we go. That's a little chippy. And you can use chippies for, I mean, they're great for happy mail. Um, you can use them as tabs or tags in your journals. Uh, you can put a little, put a hole right here and use them as a tag, tie them onto something. Um, the other thing that Gretchen mentioned that really hit home with me is she said, imagine you pass away and your relatives come to clean out your things. What would they find? What would be the embarrassing thing that you left behind? And I'm thinking, oh, you know what my embarrassing thing would be? These stacks and stacks and stacks of financial tracking papers that I have kept over the years. Copies of bills, um, copies of trying to make ends meet, um, that kind of thing. And I thought, you know, if, if something happened to me, I would not want someone to know this is probably TMI, but I don't want someone to know my struggles. I want them to come into my house when the time comes, you know, and, and then you think, man, I hope I have time to clean up. I hope that I don't, don't get into an accident tomorrow and not have time to go through my crap and clean it up. But I thought that that was really... That's a very big motivator. So, I love that suggestion. I thought, yeah, you know, that's um mm -hmm, that's one too, right? You don't you don't want somebody to come in your house and go, "Oh my gosh, we had no idea that Tammy was like struggling like this." You know, why did she not say something to somebody? <laughs> So it's like, mm-hmm, yeah, I don't, I don't, uh-uh. I do not want anybody to come in my house and go, oh, my gosh. So tomorrow I'm getting rid of all that stuff. And I hope nothing happens to me between now and tomorrow. Because <laughs> it's going on my list. Purge paper. I already purged some paper. I really did. I did, uh, I did that... Uh, last week but it's just the paper 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 what would you be embarrassed if somebody found that's motivation y'all that's high motivation all right another little chippy bit she turned out pretty can you guys see okay oh yeah okay chippy bit so we made one two Another, another suggestion that Gretchen made, uh, this is, this is more of a point than a suggestion. She says, if you are buying storage containers to store stuff, maybe you have too much stuff. I let that one sink in. If you are buying storage containers to store your stuff, Maybe you have too much stuff. That makes perfect sense, my friends. A storage container, I'm, don't get me wrong, I think a storage container is a great thing. But if you are using it to store stuff, and not, I think there's, a, now there's a difference between storing and organizing. If you're using containers to organize things, like I use containers to organize things, but I do not buy containers to organize things. I recycle what comes into my house into storage. So whether it's um, like this, 
this this started life as a puffs kleenex box so i turned it into a little storage box but i don't go out and buy plastic storage bins if a storage bin comes into my life then that's great uh, but i don't go out and purchase storage bins it's something to think about right she also talked about visual noise. Now, I found that very, very interesting. My sister does not want anything on her counters, her tables. Now, she has very, very, very few things that she allows, for lack of a better word, into her on her table, her, her her countertops, she doesn't want anything on the countertops. So if you're there and you make a piece of toast, the toaster is in the cabinet and you got to get it out, make your toast and then put it back. There's nothing wrong with that. It keeps her house very streamlined. It's really pretty. But I had never thought about that as visual noise. I looked at my refrigerator the other day and I was like, oh, I can't deal with that noise anymore. Um, so I took everything off the fridge. There's still stuff on it because that's where we organize. Um, we have to have Chris's schedules and stuff there. Um, so I wanted to read this to you about visual noise. Certain areas can get so crowded and loud that they hurt the eye. At home, a refrigerator door that's plastered with school schedules, children's artwork, expired coupons, magazine clippings, tattered flyers, and rubbery magnets is neither a helpful resource nor a place of beauty, and it will make the kitchen seem messy even if everything else is beautifully ordered. At work, a computer screen framed with dozens of scrawled sticky notes, sticky note reminders creates visual cacophony. Try to bring down the noise level. I was like, yeah, that's it, man. I am taking that crap off the fridge. We do have you know, like I said, we have to keep his schedule there because I also do his music booking. He does his booking. I do his booking. So we have to, you know, we have to maintain. That's where we maintain our order. But there was other stuff on there. And it's like, I just, I can't deal with it anymore. I got to, I got to get rid of that. So cut down on your visual noise. Some people are very comfortable with visual noise. I am not. I, do, I, I can't describe it. It's, uh, and I think, you know, we're talking about this in Friends. All of us are different. And some of us thrive in clutter. It's funny because Gretchen Rubin's sister is, she describes her sister as messy. And her sister describes herself as messy, you know. But, which is funny because it's we all have our ways of living, right? So whether it's messy or cluttered, if you're happy with it, that's great. If it is okay with you, then don't worry about what anybody else thinks. But if you can kind of, if you recognize some of this stuff, you know, within your surroundings then you know there there are things you can do about it i think we are done with our chippies right now we did make three aren't they cute i love these things i'm going to set these to the side i'm going to um i'm going to put my chippy bits back and i this is a great it's a great little Stress Buster. I love it. I've had a um, <laughs> challenging day because it has rained buckets here and we have our first farm festival tomorrow. 
and you know you're very uncertain about if you're going to cancel or if you're going to not cancel or uh, all of my food vendors have canceled so but that's okay because we encourage picnics at the farm we are probably one of the only public farms that allow people to bring picnic baskets and we have free parking and we have free admission and we have free hay rods we have a lot of free, free, free stuff. Okay, so we are done with our chippies. I'll put those over here. I want to read you one more thing, and then I'm going to move on to setting up my planner real quick. I'm not going to do a planning, um, a planning video, but I am going to set it up. Watch your language. The vocabulary that we choose influences how we perceive a task. On your file folders, you might update the label contacts to read friends and family or you might change the label of articles to read to travel and vacation on your calendar you might write play piano instead of practice piano or email time could become engagement time you might schedule a personal retreat day a catch-up day a ditch day or a mandatory vacation day. Instead of telling yourself, I need to go through my photos and discard the bad ones, you could tell yourself, and I really like this, I'm going to curate my photo collection. Different vocabulary appeals to different people. Speak to yourself in language that you find most compelling. I really like that because it really is about the language that you use and the, the, I know that we all know people who are kind of have harsh language. Um, and, and I, I don't mean cussing and stuff like that. I, I'm a big fan of cussing. <laughs> I know that sounds funny, but cussing in the right, um, in the right, uh, <laughs> Cussing in the right way. All right, that's probably a discussion for a whole nother day. I I try and keep my language super clean because I I never know who is listening or who is you know I'm in the I'm around the public so I and kids and stuff so I got I have to you know kind of be careful about <laughs> my language. Um, but I don't mind it. I was raised in a house where you couldn't say shut up and it was like, hmm, you know, this really is hard to maintain. This is what I promised you guys I would show you my um my planner from last week. So this is this is how things kind of worked out. We've still got Sunday to go. But I did use some stickers, and these two down here are Leanne stickers. I will uh leave Leanne's Etsy shop linked in the description box below because I love her stickers. I just think that they are super cool. Now, next week is a crazy busy week, but I got to tell you guys about a couple of things that I found when I was going through my washi tape. I found these date, this date, uh, days of the week washi tape. So I thought it would be kind of fun to use those instead of writing. Um, in the calendar, and I start my calendar on Monday, and I've got Sunday, Monday right here, and I know it's orange, and I know you're going to, you guys are going to make fun of me because I'm using orange, but it's a very light color of orange, so we're going to do Monday. Next week is a really busy week because I have a preview festival and I have a festival on um this is how i do things now this thing over here this column is a carryover column right here things that i'll need to to remember to do next week and thanks to you guys for not laughing at my not laughing at my planner I know she's not the prettiest thing in the world, but she really does help me stay on task. 
So these worked really well. I use a uh, one and three quarter inch columns. And that seems to work really well. Thursday. Friday. And Saturday and Sunday. I also found this super cool purple tape that says to do and you guys know that I like to use this yellow box up here that that helps me sort out my time sensitive things during the week so I thought well you know I've got some washi so we'll just put it up there Like that and then this will be my little usually I do five lines right there and purple and that yellow will look pretty together uh oh color hold please okay. I went to the shop today that carries my um my art here in richmond oh my gosh you guys i get I have to put together like a little video or something to show you just how beautiful this place is my friend emily has done a stellar job if you're in richmond it is one rose decor and i'll put a link again to her in the description box below. Jeez, that tape is slippery. <laughs> Reminds me of the, uh... <laughs> remember the scene in Pretty Woman where she's trying to eat the snails, trying to eat the escargot, and, it, and, it, and one slips and the waiter ca catches it and she says, slippery little sucker. <laughs> oh, that's such a good movie. I'm not a romantic person, but I really do like that movie. Okay, and then I filmed myself some stars, and I thought, well, how about that? You know, and I was cleaning out stuff. Um, so I thought what I would do is I'm going to put a star here because I have to be at the farm, and a star here. Oops, that's not right. Star here. Because I have to be at the farm. And a star here. Because this is a festival day. So there we go. My little ugly planner. I tell you, she's getting upgraded. She's kind of looking pretty now. But I still won't buy anything for her. It has to be things that I find that I like. Oh, and... I am going to use this for my carryover column over here. So there we go. And I know that those are things that I need to carry over into the next week. I think that is it, you guys. I am doing a planner video. I'll probably get that done maybe Monday. Because tomorrow should be a festival day, but we're just not sure yet because of the aforementioned buckets and buckets and buckets of rain. So we'll see if I can get that done. And then I'm also going to do some work. I found some awesome images to use in my smash book. So uh, my ring bound smash book. So we'll, we'll be doing that too. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. I appreciate it so much. I hope you enjoyed this little episode of Peep Show Studio. We will be doing this every Saturday for the foreseeable future. Thanks, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.